Hi, this is Jeff, and in this screencast, I'm going to show you how you can create a Lightbox slide in PowerPoint and Articulate Presenter. Lightbox slides are really popular. Uh, what you see here is an example of a Lightbox slide. So you have a main content slide, as you see here. And on this main content slide, I want to present the user with additional information that they can access if they want to. So clicking that will open up a Lightbox slide. And you'll see the original slide that I came from uh, in the back uh, due to this transparent uh, window that's opening and my additional information in a smaller slide on top of that. So it's a really cool way to present users with additional information uh, that might be interesting but not absolutely necessary for them to go through. So how do I set this up in PowerPoint and Articulate Presenter? Let's take a look. So this is my PowerPoint project. And as you can see here, I've got my main slide, which has got all kinds of uh, objects on it, uh, as well as a hyperlink, which is a hotspot, in the, which I often use as a fully transparent shape with a hyperlink to a different slide in the PowerPoint project. And in this case, it will jump into my Lightbox slide. Now, and what you see here, as you can see, is basically a duplicate of the original slide. And then I started added stuff on top of that. So I've got my transparent background, my slide background, the white one, the exit button, which is a circular shape with a hyperlink back to the uh, main content slide, and a title box, my, my text boxes from left and right, I've got this purple background detail and the next button that will actually jump into a second lightbox slide. So I can not only show one slide, but I can actually have a series of slides that connect through. And the same here on this exit button, it will just come back to the original slide. And you can see it's still in the background. Now there are a couple of ways you can duplicate your slide. And so you can just right click your main slide and duplicate it. And then you've got the same thing with all the objects on it. But that could be pretty tedious if you're working in Studio 09 because it really takes a long time to publish all the objects on the slide. Studio 13 is really quick, so you won't really notice. But it's also uh, it can also be inconvenient when you're clicking around in your Lightbox slide because you can still select the stuff behind it. Um, the other way you could duplicate your slide is just create a new one voila and select all the elements on your original slide by pressing ctrl a copying them ctrl c and pasting them as an image and you can do that in the home tab paste as a picture so basically now i've got a big picture with no objects on it so nothing i can accidentally select or move around or so that's really uh, two ways you can do that now let's clear one out how do I go about creating this Lightbox slide? It's really simple and it's just a bunch of shapes. So I'm gonna go to the Insert tab, select Shapes, and start adding shapes. I want a big black transparent shape on top of this. So I'm gonna form up my shape and say I want this to be black and I wanna have it 20% transparency. And you can see the background bleeding through right away. I'm gonna turn off my line color because by default, these things have a line. So that's the first step. I'm going to add another shape. This will be my white content area. So again, format shape, color will be white, no line. Well, and you can see it come into life, right? Now let's add an exit button. Again, insert shape, circle, voila. Make it a little smaller. You can just make any size you want. And I'm going to format it because I want to have it in red. I don't want an outline. Well, maybe I do a nice white one. And I can put in an X shape for exit, but I can also just you know, type an X and make it bold. That's about right. Put that right here. Very nice. And you see actually the white outline really connects nicely to the white content here. 
And then it's just a matter of adding your text boxes. So the text box for your title, some more text boxes. You can make a big one like this, add some content to it. And then you can start adding details if you like, uh, like I did here, the background and additional buttons if you want to move forward. So it's really just adding some slides to it uh, and, and making that work. Now, the important thing is that this thing actually will link back to the main page. So when I select it, I can go to insert, add a hyperlink, go to place in this document and select slide one. So that's it. I've created a new lightbox slide and it took me a matter of seconds. Now, once you've got this lightbox slide ready and tweaked the way you want it, it's just a matter of duplicating it and there you go. And I can add and change whatever I need through this. So that's it. How can you create lightbox slides with just simple shapes um, in PowerPoint? and create some really cool looking uh, features in your uh, Articulate Presenter course.